No, no will. Really, Mathu is very nice city of Cochin. Hi, listening. Uh, uh, can you hear us clear? Shetty, Dr. Panja, my friend, Dr. Brian Pinto, with me. So please go ahead. Right. Right. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, I think Dr. Pinto here. And uh, so, uh, we wanted to demonstrate. Um, we hi, hi, everyone. So, um, a complex PCI with focus on uh, physiological testing, uh, and we had chosen the technique of IFR, which is the instant wave-free ratio. It has got some superiority over FFR, so we really wanted to demonstrate uh, that technique to you. And uh, we also wanted to demonstrate uh, the, co the combined action or the collaborative effect of FFR and imaging in making, in decision making. So it was uh, angiographically not a very, very complex case, but uh, what we found here on table was something very, very interesting. So I think uh, um, I have with me Dr. Jabir, and he has been hosting me since today morning. I had a great time in his lab, and we have Shalu and Elsa assisting us um, as sisters in charge. So, Dr. Jabber, can you please explain what was the initial case? Hi, good evening. Uh, this is a 70-year-old gentleman. He had an anterior wall myocardial infarction in the August 2016 and uh, had undergone a primary PTCA to a lady with a 3 into 16 millimeter drug eluding stent. At that time also, multivessel disease was noticed and uh, uh, a, 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 a culprit vessel PCA was done and uh, planned for a P PCA of the other lesions later. But the patient uh, opted for medical therapy and uh, he came back recently for a treadmill test and we did a treadmill test and the treadmill was positive. And because of the positive treadmill test, uh, we took him up for another angiogram and uh, we'll show the angiogram. Could you please run the angiogram? So we have a previously stented LED for our anterior wall MI in primary setting. Run the angiogram. First angiogram. Angiogram. So LED has been stented and these are the pictures of the right coronary artery. Can we come to the circumflex? No, no, the angiogram. You can come to the circumflex, the left charts. Angiogram. Angiogram, the first angiogram of. Yeah, right. before that yeah and in, uh, you can see the patent stent in the left anterior descending coronary artery one and more negative and the circumflex which is having a one major OM seems to have a 70 70 percent eccentric lesion below that another leash uh, another OM without much significant osteal problem and afterwards there is a 90 percent stenosis and the RCA, you have already seen the RCA, it's a co-dominant RCA, which is showing an osteal lesion of 80%. So these are the, these are the residual lesions after the uh, primary angioplasty. So uh, I would like to show you just one more shot before uh, we discuss what should be our strategy. Can we go to the next shot? Now the LED is clean, but this OM that you see right here in this uh, LAO, LAO apicranial view, the OM is a pretty huge OM that you see here. So now we have a disease in the circumflex. We have a disease at the ostium of a very, very large 
obtuse marginal, and we have you know, nasty looking lesions in the proximal to mid RCA. So we uh, would be doing, uh, we have actually done IFR on all these three lesions. We would just like to take your opinion about uh, what the physiological, would these lesions be physiological or which one would be? Any, any opinion about that? So this patient is a three multiple lesions, still speaking. Patient is hemodynamically stable, no? Either, ideally, the stage procedure to be yeah. done. In fact, let a first followed by the stage procedure after two to three days later, actually. But nowadays, some people, the primary study, preventive PCI also be well activated for our country. But I personally, last one year, I doing the preventive PCI, like thing. Same setting, I used to do, give the dilate and give the stain on three region. So there, there is no difference. The study of the preventive PCI, there's no significant difference between the maze and this MI and stroke, there is no significant difference. The statistics shows, if I do this, that is stage procedures, and the no, maze Dr. is Panja, Dr. six Dr. point. Dr. Dr. Panja, this is, yeah. Yes. This is not a this is not a primary setting. Uh, it's clearly yes, uh, right. old and old stented, and he has been demonstrated ischemia on TMT. So he's TMT positive now. So you know, basically, what, what you asked us the question. So which of as these to, three lesions? Yeah, you asked us the question as to the IFR or the FFR, as I understand you right. Uh, basically, if you were to look yeah. angiographically, yeah. so which yeah, I would I which would, arteries? Yeah, I I would say I would say the OM lesion looks pretty tight to me. And uh, I would expect a positive, it's a big vessel, I'd expect a positive FFR or an IFR over there. May, the lesion in the circumflex also going down, I would possibly ex expect, you know, I, I may not even have done an FFR or an IFR over there, I would possibly have gone and stented it directly. So I would expect that. In the right, I need to see again, I'm not, I'm not so sure, but I think it's quite significant. But it's, uh, let's show, please show, show the, the right, right. right. Can you just show right. the right we'll run, again? We'll run the right again. Yeah, just oh. show us the right yeah, again. We'll, please, please show the right. Because I don't remember that clearly. The paper 0.99 is next in the right, no? So, is it right? The, the, the right, no, we, basically. No, we, we, will, we will show you, we, we will tell you later. I mean, okay. Yeah. Okay. just go. Yeah. The, the right is diffusely diseased, as you can see. And uh, possibly I would have liked to see some more shots in the proximal part, because proximal part appears diseased as well. Please. Could be, could be possible, but I, I would, ahead. yeah. Uh, no, okay. scene minus, yeah, scene minus, scene minus. I'd expect the scene right minus. also, I'd expect the right also to be positive for an eyeball. It is most likely 75 looks like, percent. It looks like it would be positive. So that would be my kind of thought process. Others may have different. So, any one of the panels have any so uh, exactly, thought process? Ex exactly. Yeah, I personally feel like uh, OM seems to be somewhat non-significant and FFR is going to give the value more than 0.8, while the distal left circumflex and proximal RCA seems to be functionally significant lesion. So, okay, so we have a little difference of opinion. So uh, oh, the OM is in doubt here, but uh, frankly speaking, the mindset that we started off was that RCA uh, should be clearly significant, and uh, the circumflex also looks pretty tight. It should be significant. And the OM, we really wanted to test by, by the functional testing. Uh, but uh, we were taken in for quite a surprise since we started working. We started, we did an IFR on the right side at first, and uh, we repeated an FFR, and we repeated the process again and again just to get over all, every technical glitch that we have ignored. And uh, the IFR that we have got for the, um, RCA lesion is 0.99, okay. and uh, we know that uh, IFR of 0 0.90 or 90 should be considered significant. So IFR was insignificant here. We gave an endocene and did an, went on to did an FFR here. The FFR came out to be 0.9. So do you think uh, um, these are very surprising, or is there an explanation for that, or should we just give it up? Yeah, RCA lesion seems to be somewhat ulcerated, uh, maybe an intravascular ultrasound or OCT can give an idea about the exact, uh, exact amount of stenosis uh, across the proximal RCA. Uh, a supplementary intravascular imaging yeah, but can be of help to decide coronary. about whether to do the PCA or not of proximal RCA. Yeah. 
So, uh, so the, since it was not an acute coronary syndrome situation and the functional testing, uh, after repeated function testing, we repeated the IFR good three, four times and FFR two times. It didn't show any significance. And then we retrospectively realized that, um, you know, the beauty of functional testing is not the lesion itself, but the amount of myocardium that it's supplying. I mean, this RCA doesn't seem to be all that great RCA, especially when we look retrospectively that the OM is a huge OM and it is supplying pretty large territory of the lateral wall. So the PLVs here are not very great. So uh, we thought that in view of uh, seriously, I mean, multiple testing, uh, functional testing being negative, I think uh, we should not chase it by intravascular ultrasound and try to look for ischemia on the left side. So um, that's what our thought process was. So we went on to the left side and let's see what we found on the left side. Correct. I IFR on the left side. So we did serial IFRs on first the circumflex. So the circumflex lesion, which looks pretty tight, more than 90%, gave us the IFR values of 0.89. So these are actually in the gray area of IFR. They can be considered as a positive IFR. But uh, clearly speaking, if the IFR value is uh, less than 0.86, it correlates very well with your FFR values. And an FFR value of uh, greater than 0 0.90 can be taken as a negative value. But anything between 0.86 or 0.85 and 0.89 is a gray zone where you should be doing an um, FFR as according to the inclusion criteria of syntax 2 trial. But then we can, we, can, we can consider it as positive and we can consider it as intermediate. So it was clearly a tight lesion and, and we thought that we would be going after it. So, but then we wanted to do the IFR of the obtuse, which was a little angulated lesion. We had some difficulty taking that wire inside that obtuse marginal. But we did it finally. Are you Can part we? of the obtuse margin? So we had some challenge getting inside. This is the FFR. So the solution started to now look a little more significant because of spasm or something. And then uh, we did an IFR value. The IFR value was actually 1.0. We pulled the value back again, normalized again, did everything but the IFR did not change. It remained 1.0. It was a negative IFR. We gave adenosine, we repeated the FFR in this territory, and it came out to be 0.97. It correlated well. The correlation between IFR and FFR was correlating both in the RCA as well as in the OM. And uh, going by the physiological testing, we have to believe it. So now, uh, what is your opinion about this? You him on medical therapy. <laughs> you keep on doing this type of physiological <laughs> testing, Listen, we left doing pain, medical you know? therapy. Though patient getting the pain is most likely due to the <coughs> main circumflex lesions. You have to do the relief. I think medical treatment yeah. not be sufficient yeah. enough <coughs> without intervention. You keep on doing this kind of testing, this is what you land up with, you know. So anyway, uh, having, said, having said that now, so, uh, the, FFR, the IFR also has certain areas of the gray areas as you pointed out, you know. Yeah. And uh, the validation for IFR yeah. is not as great as for FFR. There are validations now, but they're not as great as for, as for FFR. So when you land up in these, I don't think you can take IFR as an absolute standard as yet. You can use it, it's going to get better but you have to validate it with, 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 an, with an FFR. And you did that, you, you showed. Uh, and so I think you, you yeah, clearly, we did that. You we clearly did that. demonstrated over here that uh, you know, physiological testing, appropriateness criteria may come to our country also, yeah. where we are going now. Right. So if you go for right. appropriateness criteria, right. then, you, then you are going to look at uh, right. physiological testing and not so much of uh, you know, anatomical viewing. So we can all make mistakes on eyeballing or even right. eyeballing right. and the area of myocardium that right. is subtended may be different. So I think at this moment in time you're, you're left with doing right. nothing but the circumflex right now. That too if you believe that that point so. 8, 9 is really significant. Okay. Yeah. Any role for the patient? So, so, just, so the, just before we cut there's off. A, there's, yeah. a, there's, so, there's a, there's a comment from Dr. Pillai. Go, go so, to the mic. Pillai, please use the mic. Pillay is asking the question. See, yeah. any, uh, now it's working. Yeah. Anyway, 
FFR has been negative both in OM as well as RCA. I can, I can. You can put the same wire and measure what is I the FFR across the distal circumflex. He did that. He's done that already. He's done um, everything. Yeah, we, How much we can came? do that. Point, that was can, point, the FFR we, was 0.89. The that is, IFR was 0.89. There is a problem. That eight nine. Don't, FFR was 0.89. There is and no how doubt. The, how much was the FFR over there in that circumflex, Rishi? No, we, we, we didn't do the FFR because the region is very tight and it, we Let got an IFR value. That IFR value so. It's abnormal. So we will do that. Even that is not also yeah. normal. Then there is something yeah. problem with the FFR estimation. Yeah. Any, any role for the stress thallium? No, the, no the, I, the I, the IFR, the IFR has been, the IFR has been positive you, in this You don't believe your eyes? We're just stretching it a bit too far. On circumflex, so, this was circumflex lesion is very tight. No, no, I... Please do the... No, no, the no, doc, no, Dr. Pillai, no, Dr. Pillai, the point is, the, the point is the physiological, the beauty of physiological testing is that it does not only correlate with the severity of okay. testing. Sure. It correlates with the area, it correlates with your microcirculation, it correlates with your area of supply. Oh, how many, uh, let me provoke you, how many of you would go ahead and do an imaging of this OM? See, if I am in doubt, I will definitely go and take it. If I am supposed to do this angioplasty, my okay. important vessel is at OM. I will be standing from circumflex to OM. Right. I will make a bifurcation. That's exactly, that's correct. That's right, that should be done. Yeah. His stress test is positive. Yeah. Any role for yeah. the stress theory? So, so I... Is, he, is this patient no, it's having only TMT positive? He's, he's, got, is not he's got angina, no? This, as I heard from the history, uh, is, is angina or no mainly, angina? Mainly, mainly, mainly TMT. Mainly no, no, TMT no angina. He has a positive treadmill test. Positive. Positive TMT. So any role for stress thallium? In I, such th case? I think now you got to validate this particular thing. We all a little bit worried about the testing over here. I think this needs validation. You know, for most I of was, our guys are looking whether you really need validation of these FFRs and IFRs that, that you've done. I was right now. So what's your plan? Let's hear your plan. Yeah. So. So, so, so our plan clearly is that uh, this OM seems to be, given the, given the size of this OM, we had discussed previously, uh, I think it's a live case, we, we, we probably end up uh, not stenting anything, but the fact is we should be making right decisions for the patients. The point is that this huge, huge OM, there was, and, and the plaque is, and the plaque of the circumflex is coming right up to its ostium. There's no, um, the doing this particular circumflex uh, and compromising this OM would be a little more challenging process, which we will take that decision later on. But we need to be really sure whether this, um, this OM, um, uh, what's the OM lesion also started looking a little tight. So we plan to do an imaging of this OM just to rule out, just to be very sure what we are seeing before leaving it completely. Oh, go ahead. So we will be, we will be doing the, yeah. Are you doing okay. OCT or you're doing IVUS? We'll be doing IVERS and we'll be uh, doing co-registration of IVERS uh, with the angiographic images and try to give you beautiful pictures. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, we can shift to the other lab. So we'll go ahead with the uh, FFR of this thing. We'll do an IVERS first and then we can go for an FFR. Right. I... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi. So, so what we have done, so what we have done in the meantime is that uh, we have gone ahead and did the imaging of the uh, OM and we have gone again into the circumflex uh, and did the repeat of IFR as well as the FFR as was the request. So can we have the, the runs of the imaging, the volcano imaging, the IVAS imaging for the OM? Core registration, okay. What system do you have, Rishi, over there? The IVA system? Me. Okay. It's, it's a volcano. It's a volcano. Okay. I could you can make out from the catheter. Keep on running. Yeah, there's, there's no wire artifact till now.
Just run these uh, IVAS images again, please, from, from start. Yeah, main IVAS, just run the main IVAS. So we had some uh, some plaque at the yeah. origin of the OM1. Yeah. It's a pretty long run. Sorry. So here we are. Mm. So we are. We have this. We have this plug. Then we have. We are now into the OM. We can see the, the circumflex main. We can see the second wire. So, can we measure the MLA of that lesion, please? So, while he's doing that, um, uh, we can we can show you that we did the we, we rewired the uh, the circumflex, and this time. Uh, I think we can only show you one screen at a time. You can talk about so MLA, uh, MLA that we are getting here is 3.6, 3.6 millimeters. Right, and can you show us the uh, the FFR and the IFR values of the circumflex that we got here this time? So uh, we again repeated the IFR, and the IFR values were 0 0.88, right? 0 0.87. 0 0.87. So last time it was 0 0.89. This was 0 0.87. And when we repeated the FFR on this, or rather did the FFR for the first time on this, the FFR came out to be 0 0.74. Significant. Now, now we are dependent on your advice how to go forward follow the follow the guidelines can i have a run let's have a final run on this Why yeah I? so uh, stay there, please uh, patient symptomatic ffr 0.74 that case a reverse question to be done by the PCI, of course. No, but the fact is that we, we can't really end it uh, in, the, in the last segment right now. We'll have to come all the way back into the OM. That is my point. And when we do that, uh, we would end up compromising this very large uh, uh, obtuse marginal, which is you know, almost looking as, as big as an LAD. And right now, we have not been able to demonstrate functional significance of it. Of course, we have, we have shown you some plaques at the ostium. Whether they are truly ischemic or not, as Dr. Kirti was saying, uh, we really do not know. So uh, do we really want to go forward uh, and extend this uh, circumflex from the second OM up to the landing zone? Uh, and can you, can you play the diastolic images, please? Is it the spasm close to the OM? or If you do the retrospectively study that shows that type of lesion, Next five years, the chance of the MI is more than 70% of cases. Rishi, Rishi, this is Dr. Anand Rao. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there is there a landing zone yeah, below hi, the Dr. Anand. hi? Uh, is there a landing zone zone below the OM? Yeah. Hi. Can you can you see in a different view whether you can just tend to? I think I below? think I I think I I think there is a landing zone below it. Uh, uh, the only thing is that once we place this tent in, and if uh, you know there's a the plot between the OM1 and OM2, if it deteriorates, I think the decision that we have taken right now is to uh, go by the functional testing. And uh, both me and Dr. Javed have discussed we will we will stent the, the short, short segment. segment.
bit, uh, after the OM, starting from the OM2, going up to the normal stain, because we have shown functional significance both by IFR and FFR uh, in this particular lesion, and then see how things flow from 20. there. Shall we take Do you 2 agree? 2.7520? 2.5. 2.5. So do you all agree with us? So what, what's your plan? I was, just tell me, what did you say? So what is your the plan? plan? The, the plan is that 16? we have... Uh, Rishi, do you think you're going to gain... ischemia in the distal... Uh, Brian? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Do you think Please. you're going to gain anything by trying to reperfuse a minuscule obtuse marginal? Low, you mean the, the lower one? That's right. Do you think the patient is going to the benefit circumflex, by the a circumflex, PCI? The circum, pain circum. The circumflex into the lower one. Uh, the surgeons would certainly if, not have been if, able to even find that obtuse marginal on the table. <laughs> yeah, you mean the circumflex, right? The, it means the, the circumflex circ in the, the third, the third going OM. The third going, the third, going into the third OM, no? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, Actually, uh, I believe there was, uh, what do you say, I mean it is definitely a classical case of everyday uh, lesions that we see and we are really open to all sorts of suggestions and taking a decision, uh, you know, heavens are not going to fall if we don't uh, stent it either. Rishi, this is Kirti again. Um, Rishi, uh, you got an MLA in that, o did you say, that Hi. was the OM of 3.6? That's what he said, yes. OM, 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 the, that's o, the, the OM1. That's OM1. OM. So that is clearly not ischemic then, right? Yeah. Right. So uh, what about... And it, did not, and it did not show ischemia on FFR or IFR. Yeah. Right. And now we did an uh, uh, FFR after uh, how much time? I mean, we vasodilated this artery again? Yeah, in, in, in the... Yeah, we vasodilated, we did an IFR and an FFR on the distal circumflex, and that was significant. So, uh, why do you think that the IFR is, n like, uh, negative and the FFR positive? Is there a the problem? IFR is not The IFR is not negative. No, both were, both point, were, no, both were positive. IFR is both were positive. 0.89 and 0.88 or 0.87, both, both are positive. IFR both, is not yeah. negative. For the Both were positive. Cert. For this particular, for, for that lesion, IFR was not negative. Distal cert. So then Distal there is cert. no problem in just going and doing the intervention, right? Yeah. yeah. So I said follow the guidelines. Yeah. yeah, follow the guidelines. So you, you have to proceed according to the yeah. evidence in medicine, no? Okay. Okay. See, well, here the distal sure, circumflex. Sure, sure. Uh, sure. 16 or, a, or a 18? No, but, but that is 18. 16. 18. 2.5, 18. 18. Uh, Brian, which guideline actually tells you to chase that OM3? Right. Because the, 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 I would really like to know uh, as to this AV groove re, uh, re canalization is going to benefit only that little uh, OM3. Rishi, you can smile, but, but, but this is just from the cynics like us in the hall. Anil, I said follow the guideline. I didn't say revascularize. Uh, <laughs> Rishi, Dr. Palajani here. Right. You've got three OMs there, Sir. right? OM1, OM2, and OM3. Correct? Amongst right. all these three, the largest right. branch, right. if anybody would like right. to dilate, one. is the right. first one. If that is not right. significant by Perfect, ischemia sir. testing, I think, I, I think it goes without saying, right. the guy goes for a medical line of treatment. I think it should be a deferred standing. What is, what is the event rate no, if you try to treat this patient on a medical line of treatment? If you showed an ischemia on the FFR or IFR, I think then you are justified in doing that. But otherwise, rest yeah. of the two OMs look very low risk uh, no, lesions and low risk vessels, I should say. Yeah, but, but, sir, but sir, clearly, I mean, they are low risk lesions, but we have also shown uh, that uh, by FFR and IFR, uh, yeah. the significance in those lesions and. Uh, <laughs> And what uh, a person is symptomatic. Uh, I just want to know, is it compulsory wow, that you look, did a case once yeah. you do an angioplasty? <laughs> I mean, I just want to know, I said learning, learning theater, I think people should go with some good message. Yeah. Uh, now. Can we have an angiogram again, please? Real physiology study to That's help nice. us to cut down the PCI at least 30%. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, don't let all of them confuse you. <laughs> do what you want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I'll go forward. I need a balloon dilatation yeah. for the balloon. <laughs> balloon dilatation. Live cases are meant to ask questions and do what you want to do. Otherwise, you're in trouble. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, you want I'm all. Uh, you want to take advice? Then I'm keep I'm happy taking. that we are. <laughs> balloon. Give me a balloon. A two. Ah, ah, it's okay. study shows the MI seventy percent is. You can show the eye. How much time do we have left? We have another half an hour left? Fifteen minutes left? What? So this last session, I think yeah. the half an hour. You can go. Fifteen minutes. Two? Which uh, two, is two. two. Two or fifteen? So what are you what are you doing? You're doing the circumflex? Two or Rishi? twelve. Rishi, you're doing the yeah, circumflex? Yeah, I'm doing the circumflex. I'm doing the and, circumflex and after you, OM2. And will you land like… I'm doing the circumflex after OM2. After OM2. Okay, that's… After OM1, you mean? After OM1. Oh, just a small portion there. OM2. Okay. Just a small portion there. Okay, okay. Check, please. Go, please. Okay. Shall I go? Yeah. The check again? Check, please. Go, please. Okay, okay. I'm going. Two, four. Somebody will use on the OM and Down, please. Down. It's a balloon. So, after I was go up, please. After three, six months time, it will come back rather than the put eight. So, bifurcation like that. Three times, go up, please. How much? Yeah. 14 at most, yes. Okay. Okay. Can I have a senate, please? A little more heparin. Heparin, please. If you see really borderline, then you should do it. If yeah. it looks like more than 70 percent, don't, don't go for it. Check, check again. Okay. How much? Uh, I'm not 10. 10? 12? <coughs> Down, okay. please. Is it a scenario for the sizing shot, please? Ready? Okay. Scenario. Which is this is a twelve balloon? Ah, twelve balloon. Uh, yeah, twenty should be. Twenty should be fine. You have taken the eighteen. Okay. Uh, twelve, six, five. Yeah, it should be okay. It should be okay. So I. You see, we've got nine minutes more. Which? Okay. So how many? How many of you thought that probably uh, that RCA would be not significant by? Did you test again? The IFR or FFR? How many of you thought that RCA would not be significant by IFR or FFR? Put your hands up. Majority. Majority thought it would be significant. But you proved us wrong. Yeah. Huh? Same here. Your IFR came, what, 0 0.99 oh. or something, no? <laughs> oh, 1 point zero 1.02. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, uh, it was 0 0.99. 0 0.99. 0 .99. <laughs> That thing in that FFR, you know, those equalization that comes on sometimes confuses me, you know. I, I sometimes find that that's quite a, quite a challenge because you keep on doing equalization and then the equalization is more than seven. I think quite often you'd get FFR values which are not really okay, correct. Senate, please. Give negative. Okay. Ready? 
the spot forward. We'll go a dot forward. Just a minute. In the PIM3 trial, which is going on, they excluded the study when the gray zone of the FFR. They excluded yes, the study. Spider, please. Give me a spider. Now, get the catheter out of my way. Oh, we can go up here. Okay, I'm going up. Yeah. Two. After this angioplasty, we can do an FFR again. Come back to Ario, please. Hmm? Oh, it's worth it. It's worth yeah. it because. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's worth it. Ah, then, then we know. It's 2.5, right? Yeah. Okay. Down from 10. Okay. Down from 10. Check again. Because the FFR came as 0. 0.74. Ah, six. Okay. We can come down all the way. Okay. Can we have a test? We go up again here. Go up again. Go up again. What is EGT? When you put a DS, you have to cover so, the Now it is 10, 12. 12. Now, now, now. Okay. okay. FFR wire. So, uh, I agree that the decision to do this is not so black and white. And uh, that's why we were all discussing, but clearly there were two opinions from in the lab also and in the hall also. So, I guess you can't blame me. Yeah. So you're not blamed at all. Just do an FFR again and let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, we will do that. We will do that. We will do that, sir. Okay. Some GTN, please. Ready? You can take the wire out. We will give an injection and then we will okay. take the wire out. Okay. Okay. Final signal. Okay. Now you go ahead with the IFF. So, uh, I think this is what we expected. Uh, and uh, shall we? You want to post dilate that area? You want to post dilate the area? Give me a 2.5 NC a little bit, please. 8 short NC. Let's optimize what we have done. Let's not leave Some a job half done. Of the and then we would like to do, if time permits. No, this, uh, this, these, lesions, these intermediate lesions were always there, and we had taken a conscious decision not to, not to go up to this OM1 um, origin because we can't be in a put ourselves can't put ourselves into a situation of compromising that huge, okay. huge OM okay. when it is functionally not significant. You know, before we start the procedure. Yeah. Can I give me a test, please? I think you're okay. Oh, it's okay. Go. I'm going up. Yeah. Okay. How much? 14. 14. 16. Down, please. Check. Okay. okay. Go again, please. Again, please. Okay. Not to dilate. Yeah. 14, 16. That's okay. Down, please. Okay. Now the FFR wire. Okay. So we'll try to put. Try to quickly put an FFR, excuse me, just yeah, nice. FFR wire down and see what we get. Be ready with that. Uh, if I am not able to tell you right now because of short of time, surely I'll tell you all tomorrow when we meet in Delhi. You'll do an IFR first? Wow. 
that way it's, yeah. short, it's shorter no no adenosine and all that let that wire come out yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's it's the same fire that you can use for ffr and ifr yeah, yeah, so that's true but then you so get it, it that's quicker. the beauty so we'll do an ifr first just yeah. just wait a second yeah yeah we'll do an ifr first because your ifr was okay. 0.87 as you the said wire? last time 0.87 last time okay. yeah okay give the wire You see, what is the main advantage of the IFR over the FFR? Oh, so there are a couple of advantages, I mean, uh, of IFR or FFR. The biggest that is being touted is that there's no need to do hyperemia testing. So you, all, this, all, the, all the issues, all the issues of uh, uh, hyperemia, giving adenosine and things like that are not, are not there. So you can directly... Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, the second very important point is that yeah, if can. there are multiple tandem lesions, equalize yeah. please. This one. If there are multiple out. tandem lesions, then uh, show me. Show Jaffer, me. Can you come? Yeah. So, uh, so if there are multiple tandem lesions, uh, you and you do an FFR, you get a collective value for all the lesions and uh, then you would not be able to tell sequentially which lesion is more significant and okay, shall we go forward and treat it. But with FFR okay. it's like you can do spots at a time. Ah, normalize. So but basically the convenience and you can do it so fast without any adenosine or hyperemia and that makes the job uh, so much easier. Ready? However, uh, as people have said that uh, clinical correlation has not been so clear but still there are multiple trials going on and I think very soon um, we would have some results. Syntax 2 is enrolling patients based upon IFR. So what it's doing is that it's, uh, it's doing an IFR and if the IFR values are clearly significant, uh, less than 0 0.86, then it is believing to be uh, uh, equivalent to FFR. If the IFR values are okay. clearly okay. negative, okay. that I'll is take the other more than out. 0.9. Yeah. Then it has been trained as negative. But anything Look between 0 0.86 and 0.89, uh, uh, the syntax trial is then doing FFR on yes. those intermediate lesions and try to be doubly sure of what we are doing. Okay. So I think IFR is pretty okay. interesting and pretty so, uh, comfortable. Shall we go ahead with IFR? FFR. Let's, let's see the IFR, IFR before IFR? we go. Ah, yeah. Please record. record. Just as soon as IFR gets yeah. over, you can ask the question. Record IFR. Record IFR. Oh, that looks... So the IFR we got right now is 0 0.97. That Oh, and that makes me a very happy person. That's good. So, <laughs> yeah, you have a question, a last question. So, thank you. Uh, so, Shai Sen here from Imperial College. Yeah, uh, please. In terms of your use of IFR, there are a couple of uh, points I wanted to clarify with regards to outcome data. There's going to be some huge studies coming out at ACC. So, studies combined worth of 4,500 patients giving you hard outcome data for IFR versus FFR. That uh, we'll have very soon. That's right. in three weeks' time. Okay. So, uh, so what is the what 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 are you getting oh, in your sorry. years at the moment? I'm not allowed to say. Not but allowed it's, uh, to say I think I think the field will change dramatically, ah, but it'd be interesting. Um, we are going for And the, the other thing is the advantage that IFR gives. So you mentioned tandem lesions, and, and we're working on Imperial co-registering these images. So F I'll have a couple of cases tomorrow that I can share with the with the group. So great thank case. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. So, so hi. Rishi, I think. So hi, great to hear from Dr. Sen, who is the pioneer. Yes. The yes. FFR is 0.9 now. Yeah, that's yeah, good. That's good. That's good. Rishi, it's great to good hear from Dr. Sen. He is the pioneer yeah. for the I IFR. IFR, yes. We were, it was a pleasant time when we heard him in Mumbai as IFR. well. It was a nice talk on IFR. So, Rishi, thank you very much. I think we can once again give right. him a big hand. And thank you, very thank much. you so much. Yeah. Thank oh, you. The case is very excellent and good presentation thank from the same center. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.